Hi there, Matt Wade here, and today I thought we'd talk about the new file permission settings in private chat in Microsoft Teams. So let's jump right in. All right, so a new feature that came to Microsoft Teams chat just recently is the ability to change the permissions of a file as you're uploading it right into the Teams chat, which is really, really helpful, and it works exactly the same way that file sharing uh, permissions work in OneDrive and SharePoint if you happen to use those for external sharing or even just internal sharing as well, but uh, especially uh, relative to external sharing. And uh, this is something that's just super, super useful. So I'm just gonna dive right in here and show you uh, an ongoing chat that I have with two people. And I'm going to tell them, you know, I'm gonna tell them that I have uh, an incoming file that they all should take a look at and uh, let them know. Okay, so if I go and click the attach button in the um, a a comment here, and I'm going to upload this from my computer, this is something that I have stored locally. This is an Excel spreadsheet, and what's gonna happen is it's going to upload, so you can see a little green progress bar at the bottom. Just above that, you can see a uh, status that says anyone with a link can edit. That happens to be the default sharing status for files in my Office 365 system, is the, and this is what you're going to see, is whatever the default is, not necessarily anyone with the link. In fact, you probably won't see anyone with the link. If I click on that, it's going to bring up all of the sharing options that I have. These should look very familiar if you happen to use OneDrive for Business or SharePoint for sharing files and setting permissions to those files when you share them. So my default here is anyone with the link. I could also choose people in the organization, people currently in the chat, people with existing access, or I can actually name specific people. I can change certain aspects here, allowing editing, setting an expiration date, setting a password, and I can also block the download if I want to. Uh, certain files don't allow some of these features. You just have to keep that in mind when you move forward. Um, I think generally when you send a, a file via a chat, you probably want the people in the chat to have access to that. So I'm gonna click people currently in this chat, and I'm going to click uh, let them edit because I do want them to be able to make comments. If you didn't want that, you would just change or uncheck that, and they would only have view access, which is extremely, extremely handy. I'm going to click apply, and what I'm going to do here is click send after I wanna make one small point. You'll notice that there's a little message that pops up on top of the message box, which says people who join the chat later will need your permission to access this file. Select the file to open permissions. This is a critical piece of knowledge to have about that people in this chat setting. You'll see it actually applies the names of the specific people to this file. So if you add people to this chat later on, they will not have access to this file. If you remove any of these people from the chat, they will continue to have access to this file. So if you don't want them to, you have to play around with that. This is a, a snapshot in time permission setup. This is not dynamic uh, and it will not uh, continue on in the future. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to press send. And if you're not familiar with how file sharing works when you send a file over private chat in Microsoft Teams, the file doesn't go into some ether where it's just magically saved and everybody has the right permissions. Whoever sends the file, this file is actually uploaded to their OneDrive for Business in a folder called Microsoft Teams Chat Files. So if I jump over right now to my OneDrive for Business in the browser, you'll see <clears throat> in here there is a new file called that same file, Annual file, uh, Financial Projections. And this is where that lives now. So if I ever wanted to remove access to this or delete it from the chat, you can't just delete it because people can still have like the file show up as a recent file within Excel. Uh, they could have the link to it. Even if you deleted the link in the chat uh, by editing your message or removing it, they could still get to it. So the only way to actually ever remove it if you want to is to change the permissions. And uh, permissions are always gonna be covered under this manage access button under the, uh, the drop down here. So if I click on that, this will show only three people have access. Now, I am the owner, so I, of course, have direct access. Uh, and then these three people, which, interestingly, Teams gives the owner of the file, the uploader, the access also, which is redundant, but still. So you'll see Adele and Megan, who are both in that chat, are uh, still able to edit this file. Now, if I were to go back to Teams, I could always uh, add somebody to this 
chat and let's say I want to add uh, Alex Wilbur and I don't want him to see any chat history so he doesn't even see or no actually let's say he does include all chat history because then he would see the link with the file if I do that and then open this up under him he'll see it but he won't be able to open it okay so now I'm in Alex's team's experience here and if I jump into that chat you'll see it says that he was added and you can see he has the file here now if he clicks this it's going to pop up and it better, it should, he does not have access to this file. So he can now request access. So he's going to request access. This is going to go through the standard SharePoint, very old school SharePoint request access. Uh, and on my end, I'm going to get a request access uh, email and then I can provide him access. Now, if I do go back to my OneDrive, I can just offer it to him directly and um, actually, let's see if I can change it from here. No, I have to add it. I have to add them from here. So I can go in here and add another person and say Alex. And he is this user and click save. All right, so this is my OneDrive, Matt's OneDrive. <clears throat> and once this is saved, I can go back to Alex's page and let's close it and then go back in here and try to reopen it. And if all goes well, this should open up and it does. Great, so now Alex has access to this. So this is all part of the whole file sharing ecosystem within OneDrive for Business and SharePoint. And uh, you know, Teams kind of latches onto all of those same features and setups, which makes it easier to understand if you know OneDrive and SharePoint, but it also makes it harder to understand if you dive into Office 365 like directly from Teams and don't understand there's these two different file sharing mechanisms in the background and it's not necessarily the easiest thing. And I will say it's just always one of those things where if you need a complex solution, like I wanna have a chat with four people, which is a permission controlled experience and I wanna share a file with them, uh, it's not necessarily an easy way to manage that because you're asking for something reasonably complex and that's just, you know, kind of how it is. Uh, but anyway, I hope that's uh, useful for you. I think this is a, a really good new feature, being able to change the permissions as you go through and uh, upload a file because you can set it to be wider. Perhaps you want to send uh, a message with a file to two or three people, but you want that file to be accessible to anybody in the organization. So if those two or three people share maybe a sign-up sheet with everybody else in the organization or other people within their departments or something like that, very, very useful. And then in some cases, uh, you don't really want uh, you know, a file to be edited. Maybe it's just something, uh, um, a Word document that's a flyer uh, that's just meant to send information. You don't want people editing a flyer. It's really meant to be, uh, to be read and viewed only. You can send that to a certain number of people, but again, the permissions could be very wide if you want it to be. And if you have the ability in OneDrive for Business or SharePoint to uh, share a link externally with people, so anyone with the link can open it, that opens up your opportunities to even you know, more wider um, options if you want to go forward with that. So I hope you found this helpful. If you like these tips and tricks, uh, kind of the things that I talk about in these videos, you're going to love uh, the next big project that I'm working on. That is uh, an upcoming book, a user guide, basically a field guide for all Microsoft Teams users out there, just chock full of everyday tips, tricks, step-by-step, -step, screenshot heavy instructions on how to make the most of Microsoft Teams from the team side chat, files, calling, meetings, whole nine yards. Order it now, pre-order it now on uh, Amazon and other retailers online. And I can't wait for it to be available and actually shipped to your door. You can get it at the link below. Thanks again so much for watching. A like and subscribe is much appreciated. And hey, happy playing around with these new permission setups that now are built right in to the file sharing uh, experience right in Microsoft Teams private chats.